everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, I'll show you how to take some balls from Dollar Tree and turn them into something really glam and elegant. Here I have some mini basketballs. This one has a red background. Uh, this one has a green background. But the balls are the same size, so that's what we need. We need the two balls from inside here. And we also have some of these table tennis balls. So I need two of these and two of these. So what I'm gonna do is remove two and two and then spray paint them silver. Okay, again, I'm going to take these outside and spray paint them silver. Okay, next up, I have this hurricane from Dollar Tree. There's the skew. And this is the shorter one. I also have this candle inside this glass from Dollar Tree as well. Finally, I have this bowl, and I picked this up at Goodwill. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is remove the wax from inside of here. And I'm just sticking the wax with the popsicle stick. Okay, so the rest I'll remove with hot water and soap. So I'll clean these as well and remove the stickers. Once I do that, I'm going to spray paint this silver as well on the inside and the outside. Same thing with this one, I'll spray paint it silver on the inside and the outside as well. Okay, so I'll do that and come back. So when I come back, I have the silver mini basketballs and the table tennis balls, and then I have these silver as well, okay? All right, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. And here's what the candle holder looks like once I spray painted it silver. Here's the larger ball after I spray painted it silver. And the smaller ball looks exactly the same. And I have it put aside and I'll show you why later. So next I'm going to cover this with silver leaf. And I'm going to do the same thing with the bowl and the four balls. So here I have some silver leaf adhesive. And I'm just going to brush some on to my candle holder. Just brush on a thin amount. You don't need much. Okay, now I'll let this sit up and get tacky. Right, so I have this. I'm going to use it to hold the ball. Again, here's the ball. And I'm just going to put some adhesive on half of it. And I'll use the line to mark the half spot. Okay. I'm gonna let both pieces get tacky to the touch and then I'll put silver leaf on both. Okay guys, so this has set up for about 30 minutes. And now I'm going to use my silver leaf. And I found this at Amazon. And I'll link it below in the description. So all you wanna do is just open this up. You'll see there's sheets that um, separate the silver leaf. So you just wanna pick it up very gently and put it on your container.
and here's the bowl. Same thing. And now I'll do the ball. Okay, same thing. Now I'll flip this over, put some adhesive on this side and cover it. Once that's done, it'll look like this. Okay, so we have two of those balls. And the smaller ball looks like this. So now we have two of these, two of these. This candle holder, which is the base, and this bowl. Okay, for the larger ball, I'm going to put some bling right around the center. And I'm going to use two rows. And when the second one is completely done with the foil, I'll put the ring around it as well. So now I'll go back and get the hurricane vase and um, glue this to the bottom. Here right here is our hurricane. So now I'm just going to take this and glue it to the bottom of the hurricane. And I'm going to put some glue right on top, just like so. Okay, so here's one that I've completed already. I've already glued the base to the hurricane and I have my balls ready. So the thing you wanna do is just put your balls on the inside. You could do the small one and do a large one, do a small one and then do a large one or vice versa. And then you can just put this right on top and the weight of this will hold it down. And then you have this. Now you can also use ornaments during Christmas time or even pine cones. You can use acrylic diamonds. You can use anything that you like as long as it fits on the inside. And you put your candle right on top of here. Isn't that pretty? Again, we'll have two of these once the glue sets up on this base. And I'll put them on display and let you guys see what they look like.